Hi everybody, welcome back. Welcome back to Oxford. Welcome back to the Lewis House or the Oxford Annex, whatever you want to call it. Welcome back to my nearly 200 year old Gothic Revival home that I purchased at auction for only $5,000. It's going to need a lot more than that as everybody likes to remind me. But uh, before we get into today's episode, I just want to stop and say thank you so much to all the people out there, all the support, all the neighbors, the townsfolk, friends, family online, everybody that's just blown me away with how much support there is for this project. Um, I've had dozens of people stop me. So many people are very happy to see something happening to this house that isn't involving a bulldozer. And uh, just all the support has been really, really great. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, and, and it means a lot to me. So in this episode, what we're going to do is some cleanup. So if you remember the before pictures, there are a lot of bushes and overgrown things all over this place. Now there's a few things that I need to do. I need to clean up all the U's, the Y-E-W's in front and the side of the building because it really opens things up and it also goes to show people that, you know, there's something happening now, right? That somebody's actually trying to make it look a little better and, uh, and there's something good going. And, well, it just... Yeah, so they need to go. So there's also some trees that need to get cut down. There's some bigger trees, some smaller trees. So we'll get into some of that too. So that's what this episode's gonna be. Just nothing nearly as long as the last one, I promise. Um, that one was just more for the walkthrough than anything. This one's just gonna be a, a shorter video, just some, uh, some generic clips of some guy out here trimming some bushes and cutting some trees and moving some brush around. That's pretty much it. Um, once we've got that done, then we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna rake up everything, um, try to get this yard a little bit better. A lot of the other yards around here are nice and green and nothing. This one's just got tons and tons of old dead leaves in it. So we're gonna see if we can't do something about that. Let's get into it. Yeah, it's uh, taken a while, but uh, believe it or not, it's snowing now, because of course it is, but we're getting cleared up. Uh, we got a good chunk of this stuff cleared up in front of the porch. Still plenty to go. I at least want to get to the corner of the house. Uh, I've started taking down a couple of the trees, uh, the smaller ones at least for now. So we're getting there, but it is getting, you know, overcast and miserable and snowy, so I'm going to put my hat back on. I'm going to get back to it. So while I was cleaning up all this garbage out here, I found a bottle and I went to pull it out and then I realized it is now a part of the shrub. It's completely grown around it. <laughs> no budging that sucker. So I guess that's gonna have to come out when the shrub comes out. I still gotta work on that, but right now I'm gonna get the rest of this cleaned up. I don't wanna tear into these things until I've got everything else down. These being down make it look a ton better already. So we're gonna just focus on the heavy stuff and then we'll get back to the finesse work. I just thought that bottle was cool.
we've gotten a lot done today so far. I don't know what time it is, but we've gotten a lot done. You can see I have a, a wagon full of U. It's a load of U. Uh, the front we've got, I mean, some of the stuff I've, I've cut down and it's just loose, but um, we've got no more bushes out front. We have no more bushes out to the side other than tree branches. And uh, yeah, so those tree branches actually came from this tree here. They were overhanging the, what's this thing called? Driveway. Uh, Monday, they're not only am I getting my dumpster, but they're also having some people come in to do some tree work on the trees back here. The landlords for the other buildings having some of these trees out back done. So figured I would at least cut off a couple little branches, make it a little easier for them to get their trucks through here or whatever have you. But um, my problem is I'm, I want to keep working, but there's not there's more, there's only so much I can do in a day. Um, let me rephrase that. There's only so much I can put someplace in one day. So for example, these two trees back here, they've got to go. Those would be fairly easy to just drop straight down here into the lawn where I'm standing. But the lawn where I'm standing in is where the dumpster is going to go. So I don't want to drop them here and not have a place to put the dumpster. Uh, likewise with this one against apartment 10. That one's got to go too. But again, lands in the dumpster area. So I'm thinking these trees back here are, for the time being, going to stay there until I've got the dumpster out of here. So two more weeks before the dumpster's gone and then I can do the rest of the trees. Um, you know, these over here have to go. They're really not bad. It's just this big one. And really this big one's not horrible except that straight above me, same thing, power lines. So I think the last thing I'm going to do today is going to be this birch. So uh, the neighbor, uh, he had his car here a minute ago. He's just left, actually. I knew he was leaving, so that's why I haven't done it yet. So I am 100% certain that this is going to land right there in that brush. But I uh, figured I'd, be, I'd, I'd give him some peace of mind and not cut it while he was here. So, all right, let's go get that tree down. So like I said, all right, well, as you can see, dropping that tree went perfectly to plan. And if I'm completely honest, that is why I waited for the neighbor to leave with his car. Uh, but now we are basically in the cleanup phase. So we've got a lot of wall to see now, and then just the remains of that birch. The front is mostly cleaned up, still got a pile over there to take care of, and some garbage bags and whatnot, but on the whole, it doesn't look too bad. Even started raking some up here, so now it looks a little bit better. And that is going to do it for this video. I am plum tuckered out, and unfortunately, I have to save up my energy because tomorrow is dumpster day. So the dumpster is coming tomorrow, and I'm not sure what time, but... I'm planning on having my brother up here in the morning and we are going to uh, tackle the inside. So that'll be the next video is stuff like that. But for now, I've done a lot of cleanup outside over the last few days and there's still some, you know, little twigs and some stumps to the left around and some uh, garbage still to clean up. But if you remember the before picture, and I'll post it in the corner right here, I guess. Um, so that's the before picture. So let me turn the camera around and I'll show you the after. So as you can see, we have made some progress. All of the, all of the U is gone. And uh, now there's some stumps that remain, but all the U is gone. Some of the trees are gone. These trees have been trimmed back. We've got some trees on the side that are gone now. So we've got uh, that big white birch that you saw fall and totally go where I wanted to is gone. Some of these other ones are gone. Um, I took down a couple of branches up here. Um, that one left me some battle scars. I think I've got a monkey out here somewhere. Um, overall, though, not too bad. Um, so Wednesday, I cleaned up the very front and front of the porch. Friday, I came back because some of the trees I had cut back down on Friday were back here. So now that those trees are cut down, I mean, there's still some twigs and whatnot, but those are gone. So now we have some uh, room to put the dumpster back here. That way we can start the tear down from 
the walls. That's going to be interesting. A lot of work. It'll be rewarding when it's done. Not going to lie, I'm, uh, I'm not looking forward. The first day, I think I'm going to be really excited to tear into the walls and, and the, uh, the prospects of what may lay ahead. I think day two is going to really sink me. <laughs> I'm running out of energy. But as you can see, it does look a lot better. So let's come across the street real quick and we'll uh, just kind of show it from the other side now that you can see the actual side of the house. Um, and again, if you don't remember the beginning, here's a picture that I took off of the website. And this one showed kind of the same angle as you're seeing behind me now. So let's turn the camera around again. And there we are. So this is kind of what I wanted to do was to open this up and get a much better... Hi, Cap. I want to introduce you to Blackie. I don't know what his name is, but he is a black cat who is uh, not hinging off my superstitions at all. Do not get in my car. He jumped out of the window of the house earlier, so he must be uh, running around. Oh, stop. <laughs> anyway, so as you can see, we do have a little bit better look now. Um, I was going to walk this way again for a reason. So I want to look down the side of the house. If you look at the side right here, now it's nice and open, so you have a good view down the side of the house from out here. Unfortunately, the house is still pretty dingy. So what I'd like to do at some point in the fairly near future, now, mind you, we still have big projects to take care of. We still have to fix the roof and all that, but I would like to temporarily at least throw a coat of paint on this side, just so from this side of the street, because this is a side that everybody can see, I wouldn't mind making this look a little bit better. So. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna look into some paint for that and then we're gonna see what we can do for there now I have to find a ladder because it's 20 feet tall and I don't know how to get up there So I have to find a ladder I have to find some uh, time to do it some of this paint will still need to be scraped away and stuff like that, but I'm hoping that by prettying up the side it will Maybe detract a little bit from the paintwork needed on the front porch um, and if, if nothing else, at, at the very least, it will, um, it will look better from, from afar. Uh, one other thing real quick is, uh, I didn't show this before, I didn't mention this before, but on this porch, which is falling down and held up by this 2x6, you can see that scroll right there? That's a, a little support. Well, there's not one over here, but I found that. It was down here in the ground under the, under the U, under the bushes. So. I have that other scroll to go whoops, uh, yeah, there. So uh, the downfall is it's a little bent, so I need to bend it back into place. But once it's bent back into place, I can actually resupport that. And when I've resupported that, then I can take that two by six down and that'll look better too. So lots of plans, lots of stuff coming up. The dumpster is coming tomorrow. So tomorrow is uh, the start of, I guess we'll call it episode three. And uh, yeah. So uh, again, thank you everybody that's watched uh, and for the support and the encouragement, everybody that stopped, everybody that comments and, and watches these things. Um, I, I'm overwhelmed by how much people are encouraging this. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. And uh, I guess we will see you next time.